everyone. Welcome to The Lazy Chef. Today we're going to be making boiled fruit cake, um, which is a big family favourite. Everybody's been making it for years and years and years, and it's one of my favourites, of course, or else I wouldn't be making it. Um, but today I'm going to be making it with cold tea instead of cold water or milk, and see if that has any effect on the flavour. Um, and um, we shall see how it comes out. So let's get cooking. Enjoy. Okay. So this is why it's called a, a boil cake. In here I have some cold tea, one cup of cold tea. The original recipe um, says uh, milk or water, but I thought tea might give it a little bit of an extra dimension of flavour. Now in your saucepan, you put your tea, you put 225 grams of margarine or butter. Make sure you get all that out. Bung that in. Then you want 230 grams of brown sugar. I mean, you can use white sugar, I've used white sugar lots of times. And then one pound of currants. Now I've got mixed fruit here. I've taken out as much of the mixed peel as I could because we're not really very fond of it. Also what I did is I soaked this in boiling water for about an hour just to plump up uh, the fruit a bit because even though it's going in here, it's still could be a bit dry once the cake is cooked. So we're going to chuck all those in, including the runaway, two runaways, there we go, and that's it. And, and then, we, then what you do is you boil it, bring it to the boil, and then you cool it down. So there is a little bit of a wait. That's all right. You can. I can edit. Sorry to interrupt the video, guys. <laughs> I might keep that in. <laughs> just just want to get a drink. Thirsty. <laughs> oh, oh, what are you making? Well, I just made tiffin. I hope that works because it's a different recipe. And now I'm making boiled cake. That sounds interesting. Oh, boiled cake's an old family recipe. You boil it. Yeah, you boil it. <laughs> you boil that, and then you add in your flour and your eggs and spices and whatnot. Spices to the cake? Is it Christmas? Yeah, mixed spice. Oh, I forgot to put the mixed spice in. I almost forgot to add my two teaspoons, and I'm doing heap teaspoons because I really love it, um, of mixed spice in there. That's more like it. Oh, it smells so good. I know I always say that, but you know, what's the point in cooking if you don't like how it smells? So as you can see, it's very merrily and happily bubbling away here. You don't need to keep boiling it for a certain amount of time, you just need to bring it to the boil. And because um, I soaked the fruit beforehand, um, hopefully the fruit will be nice and juicy. So then you take your pan off the heat, put it on your pot stand, and let it cool down. When it's cooled down, we'll be back. So our lovely fruit mixture has now cooled down. And to that, we are going to add. Now, it's four small eggs or two large eggs. We're gonna add them in there, give that a little mix about. And then we're going to add our self-raising flour. And our bicarb of soda and a pinch of salt that I'd already put in the flour. Give this a good mix. And I should have got a bigger pan than mine. Now 
So you need to have your oven on uh, 175 Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, and that's about three to four gas mark. That's all mixed in. You don't have to worry too much how well mixed in it is. Right. So I've got here a bread tin. I think it's a two pound bread tin. Um, and I've lined it with my favourite liner paper. And I'm just going to... Oh, this happens. Oh my goodness, it's going everywhere. This only just fits in here. Right, there we go. There's our lovely boiled cake. Now we need to put this in the oven um, for about one and a half hours. It'll probably be quicker in my oven because uh, my oven just is like that. Anyway, oh, um, um, if you have a fan oven, you want to put it down by 20 degrees. So um, we're talking 155, which seems really low. So um, uh, I'm going to see, I don't know. Anyway. Now it's time to put it in the oven. One and a half hours in the oven and um, we'll be back. So here is our cake fresh out of the oven and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to tell how a fruit cake is cooked. So what you need is a sharp knife or a skewer or in my case my handy dandy thermometer and you just pop it inside your cake and if it comes out clean, clean enough, not too bad, then it's cooked. So we're going to leave this here now to cool down for about 10 minutes and then we're going to turn it out and let it cool till it's completely cold and uh, then we'll try a bit and see if that tea has had any effect on the flavour at all. So we'll be right back. So here is the finished article which I have been munching on. It's very, very moist, but I think that's thanks to uh, soaking the fruit. And also, actually, I think the tea might have had some effect on the moisture of it too. I'm not sure if it's changed the flavour, but it's a lovely cake. It's rich. It's a fruit cake. I mean, what's not to like? Um, anyway, it came out really good, and uh, it was fun making it for a video. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and the usual... I uh, hope you make it. If you do, let me know. Um, please, please feel free to go and visit um, the Lazy Chef UK's new website. Uh, the link will be down below in the description. Come and join us on our Facebook group. That would be great if you could come and join in and share some recipes and have a bit of a giggle with everybody and get to know everybody. And um, please like and subscribe and share and all those things I have to go through every time I do this. And um, hopefully we will see you next time in the next video. And I'm very grateful for your coming. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody. Bye now. Mwah.